Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I wanted to interview my wife and uh, have her give you guys um, some of the reasoning behind her desire for this car. I've already shared what I like about it. And uh, so you guys can get a kind of an idea of a, um, she's not an EV enthusiast in the same way I am. It's true. So anyway, uh, so I wanted to have you guys hear from her a couple things. Uh, what it is about electric versus gas, what are her thoughts, uh, what it is about the Mini Cooper, and why this car instead of, say, another Tesla. So, why the Mini Cooper versus a, another Tesla? Uh, well, another Tesla is too much money. Uh, it's too buggy. Um, what do you mean, buggy? Well, sometimes it works. I hear you complain often about an update that messed this up or messed that up or the update didn't work and last night your screens were all on but nobody was in the car and that's true it's she just, came in and yeah it's just buggy and you're you have to uh, you're dependent on the updates of the car to make things better um, so I just did not feel like I I like knobs and buttons and physical things. I am not ready for the space age. Like nothing on the dash, everything on the iPad. Too much um, too much technology. Um, I personally am not ready for that. So and they're too expensive. I think I already said that though. Now you do enjoy driving it when I'm there with you in case there's an issue I know how to correct it well yes that is that's another point is that you have to relearn how to drive a car all over again that's what I really felt like the first time I drove it is I'm like how do you turn on the windshield wipers how do you do this how do you do that and because I don't I mean if I drove it enough I would get used to that kind of thing but because I don't drive it very often I'm not used to it and it just is like almost more nerve-wracking because I'm like I can't just press a button and turn on the windshield wipers or you know it's like you gotta you gotta know the system and how, what buttons are what and how to do things and it's I more just, of an enthusiast's car I guess yeah I guess yeah. so I, I and I, from the the financial standpoint it's not just the purchase price of the car I'll do a video on this another time but Actually, the, the $7,500 tax credit amortized, if you look at it amortized monthly over the next year, is higher than our car payment. So it's interesting, for the first year of ownership of this car, we are getting paid a hundred and some dollars a month to own this car. And it, so, you know, f from a financial standpoint, it was a no-brainer. It was either get another Tesla with a massive car payment or get this and quite literally be paid monthly to own it because the tax credit for the first year exceeds our car payment. So it was really a no-brainer. Getting this car was like no problem at all. Getting another Tesla is woo, we have to plan for that. So you know, there's a lot to it. Um, and so what about Mini Coopers and BMW is the parent company of Mini. So I mean, what are your thoughts on that as far as Mini as, as a brand? Uh, well, I've always liked BMWs. I wanted to own one. I think the Mini Coopers are cute. They're unique in style. They don't look like every other car that's out there. And um, But as far as like the electric, I mean, I already do have some what they call range anxiety because I'm like, I can't just stop at a gas station. So it is a whole new way of thinking about driving and what you need and planning ahead and all that stuff so um, that is just something I'm gonna have to get used to but I think the more I drive it the more I will get used to that and and be comfortable with how many miles can you actually go because that's one thing I never I never paid attention to it's like it was always the gas gauge it's like well pay attention to the gas gauge when you need gas you just stop wherever and you get gas and you know you go on your merry way but with an electric, it takes a little bit more foresight and planning so that you can make sure that you do have enough 
power in the car to get you where you want to go. But on a daily basis, I generally don't drive a whole ton. Um, and with our 16 year old getting his license soon, I mean, I, I won't be chauffeuring him around. So my driving will, in the next few months, will actually decrease. And one thing I want to point out, I, I filmed a video previous to this one, and I don't know which video is going to be live before the other, so, uh, but I just filmed a video testing the range of this car. Now, I didn't run it from full to empty. What I did is I drove exactly 20 miles. I ran an errand, and, um, and I monitored the, uh, the watt hours per mile and, and you know, looked at the capacity of the battery and that, and this car... Uh, what I came up with in normal general driving is a 142 mile range. Uh, it's rated at 110. I knew it was going to be higher than that based on the size of the battery and that, but 142 mile range is what it looks like for the type of driving we do that we'll get on this car, which is probably four or five days of driving for Cheryl. So even if she forgets to plug it in, it's really a non-issue. And this thing charges fast. It's like three hours to take it from down at like say 20% up near maximum. So she'll drive it, plug it in half hour, 45 minutes of charging will make up for all of the driving she did in one day. Uh, so that's that. Uh, now, um, what are your thoughts? How do you like the car so far? Uh, I think it's very fun to drive. It's very responsive. Um, I, this is really only the second time since we brought it home that I am driving it anywhere because of all the things going on in the world. But um, but it is a new car, so it should drive like a new car. But I, I think I'm, I am going to have a lot of fun in this car. And, um, you know actually desiring that it would go longer than like a hundred and some miles you know I can't take it to Minnesota which I frequently visit family up there you know so that's a bummer like, that's she'll a have to, she'll have to take the BMW convertible up to Minnesota so that's a downer anyway right it's a downer but this is the new funnest fun current car so you know you just want to drive it everywhere and go places with it and have lots of fun with it so um, yeah she does talk a lot. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> well, part of it, we wanted to shoot this video. Uh, when In the delivery video, my wife was driving. I was in the passenger seat doing pretty much all the talking. And a couple commenters were like, wow, she doesn't look happy or whatever. Uh, we barely got any sleep. We were kind of nervous. And, you know, questioning a, a large purchase with, you know, turbulence in the world as it is and that. And... So, you know, it was, it was a bit of a concern. Both of us had some anxiety. Uh, part of me wanted to back out of even getting it. But, uh, again, from a financial standpoint, we're actually better with it than without it. Uh, but also, I can't find anyone else that's taken delivery. I'm sure there are. But here in the States, I, I, they're just not out there. It's so ultra rare. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to get it. And so, but we were both a little nervous going out to get the car. And, um, and I tend to over talk so so that's why we wanted to shoot this video and in fact it was Cheryl's idea she said I'd like to shoot a video and you know, be able to talk and give the guys you know, the viewers my thoughts on it so so, so this car does have a very high uh, a strong regen braking which I have yet to get used to yeah it's real strong I'm sure you've seen our heads <laughs> bug forward you can set it for lower regen uh, the reason I haven't set it for that is because every time you get in the car, it defaults to high regen, probably for safety reasons. So you don't think there's going to be a lot of regen and accidentally hit someone. But that means every time you get in it, you have to set it for low regen, and then you're using the mechanical brakes. So Cheryl's just getting used to modulating the accelerator pedal for the regen. I have to say, the regen in this car is its not only stronger than the Tesla, it's more abrupt. The Tesla regen... It, it starts to grab and then it kind of like this car is ugh. you let off and the regen is there. full bore there right now so it's stronger and far more abrupt than the Tesla and the acceleration is quite good so this car 20 to 50 is just as strong in acceleration as my Tesla 0 to 20 maybe not so much and above 50 not so much but 20 to 50 which is the speed that you live going around town this thing is every bit as quick and if you turn the traction control off, it will roast the tires. The, the reviewers say it won't. 
It does, especially exiting a corner. So it's a fun car, it really is. And it, it corners just with a ferocity that is mind bending. Uh, so tire suspension, everything is great. So we both love the car. I'll probably shoot a couple more videos uh, with Cheryl. It just I wanna get her take of it, especially once she's using it on a daily basis, running all of her errands and that. Uh, I'd like to, oh, there's a beautiful little mini right there to our left. Uh, anyway, I also want to get my son's take on it. He's actually driven it a little bit. He's probably driven it as much as either one of us have. We've only got 149 miles on the car. So anyway, that's it for us for today. And uh, go ahead and uh, you know subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions for Cheryl, I will read the questions in the comments section and answer, answer for her. So I know you guys no, have been... No, he won't answer for me, but he will answer what I want him to I will. <laughs> I will give her answers <laughs> for you guys in the comments section. So I, a lot of you guys have just asked, are you married? I see a wedding ring. What does your wife think of the Tesla and EVs and all that? So we're excited to be a three EV family and um, we share one charging outlet and I'm doing a video on that as well. So anyway, thanks guys. Have yourselves a wonderful day and by all means, stay healthy. Let's, let's be cognizant of the fact that there are people hurting and struggling around us. If you're a praying person, go ahead and pray for people you come in contact with. Help people out, check in on the elderly that are around you and let's remember that these are serious times, but let's also have fun. It's a beautiful day and we want to enjoy our car. So thanks guys, have a great day. Bye. Bye.